Hey, it's 5.54 in the morning. Playhouse in the morning. Y94, that's Amy K. I'm Zero. Headlines, Y94 cast Sizzler in a couple of minutes. It seems like every single day it's one of those, oh, today's national whatever day. Taco day, pizza day, cinnamon toast crunch day. There's a different one every day. I know you like these quite a bit. I think over the weekend it was national ice cream day. Well... <laughs> Here's one that if you're lactose intolerant, if you celebrated ice cream day yesterday, you can celebrate this one today. Apparently, today's National Fat Flatulence Day. So like toot day mm-hmm. or whatever word you want to use for the breaking of wind. So today, February 5th, is obviously a comical holiday, and it says it's celebrated for exactly those reasons. And you can celebrate it a couple of different ways. There's the obvious way, and that is just relishing in your own stink, but then also maybe thinking about how much the toots can really impact your life. They say the most common one that people really don't think about as much as they should is it is a sign, they say, of a good relationship if you're comfortable letting those out in front of each other. <laughs> so celebrate today at home with Stephen. That's not where I thought this was going. I thought it was talking about like how healthy, like you have good gut bacteria or well, something. That is good too, That's yeah. where I thought this was going. It is a natural part of life. Everybody does it, but we're all ashamed of it. But the one place you shouldn't feel shame is in front of the person you love, right? Or is it more a sign of love to excuse yourself for a second? I think that's a debate. A debate I'm willing to have for about five minutes before we move on and don't talk about toot day no more. But does it mean you're comfortable and you trust them if you're willing to just let things out? That's the insinuation here that if you truly, truly care for somebody and they truly, truly care for you, you should be comfortable doing that in front of each other. And not feel bad about it. There should be no shame. I would think if you suspect that you're going to be pretty gross, maybe it is just even more loving to be like, I got to go for a second. And you waddle down the hallway to a bedroom. We literally got into a fight about this last night. (laughs) (laughs) Yesterday? Yesterday. He had a smelly one. And I said, that's so disgusting. Can't you just go to the bathroom or something? And then he sprayed for Breeze. But the fur breeze hit me, so I got mad. And I said, you sprayed me! <laughs> <laughs> it was so dumb. That's right before we went to bed. <laughs> so you, this is really hitting home for you today. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> so maybe this is a, a quick Playhouse poll, and then I promise we'll move on from it. Do you think it is more a sign of love to be able to do that in front of each other and be okay with it? Or would it be even more of a sign of love if you just walked out of the room for a second? 237, it's text 35270 on the Valley's most highbrow morning show, the Playhouse in the Morning. Playhouse 194, apparently today, National Flatulence Day. And one of the ways that they suggest we celebrate is we really reflect on how those things impact our life. And one of the things they, they say is, well, it might be a sign of a really good relationship if you're able to break wind in front of your significant other and it's all okay afterwards you don't judge each other but then amy and i got into this conversation it's like is it even more of a sign of love though if you were to just get out of that room if you could and just do that elsewhere in private do you think that that is a sign of a healthy relationship i I usually give warning Mm -hmm. i think something's about to come out so you may or may not want to stay So you're not leaving, but you give them fair warning to GTFO. Like, listen, honey bear, honey boo boo, can I call you Pookie? You might want to run out of this room right now. If someone said that to me, I'd be out of there so fast. But I think that's nice to give that warning. Usually I'm fine with Steven doing it. It doesn't bother me. But I don't know if it was the crab legs, the Taco Bell, whatever we ate for dinner. Mm -hmm. It was terrible. Combination of both, most likely. Yes. You know? Uh, are you seeing some texts on this very important life issue? Uh, yeah, lots of people do it. Someone said, my husband and I fart in front of each other whenever one of us has to. Started probably a month into our relationship. And another person said, yes, we do. We're married. I wasn't about to spend the rest of my life hiding a very natural bodily function. And another person said, I very rarely do. I mean, I won't dive embarrassment, but I also won't do it out of the respect that nobody else should want to have to smell that. I am not one to brag. I think in general, I have superior, if not superhuman, muscles down there. (laughs) And here's why. And I think what it is, is if you look at the rest of me, like that is not a very muscular guy. That's because all my muscles are down there. And so I have very good control with that. So I, this is not much of an issue for me. I I can hold it until I need to. But let me tell you, it's kind of like... You know how when you break a tube of cinnamon rolls and they just come flying yes. out of there? When when I you know open the cork, it I open the cork. But I'm able to really hold it very well. I am 
I'm so worried about the muscles down there. <laughs> I hope you never have to have the surgery I had. Me too. Because that recovery and trying to get those muscles moving again, I would feel bad for you. It'd be tough. It'd be tough. <laughs> yeah. It'd, I'm sure it would go from, you know, never flowing to just always flowing, I suppose. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you, you think it's better to just hold it in or do you warn somebody? Do you just let them out? What do you do? So for me... We we waited until we were like engaged to fart around each other, which I think was just because that's, I guess, when we felt comfortable enough. But um, I don't know. Still, even now, like when my husband makes a really audible fart, I'm like, really? I don't know. I just feel like you be polite. You leave the room, whatever. It's just I kind of feel like it kills the romance. Okay, so your preference would be just you know, try not to. Hello. Oh man, I was just having this conversation. Um, I think that when once you reach a certain level of intimacy, the toot can be used for many different reasons: as a form of revenge weapon, uh, as comic relief in an argument. So I would say to toot. So when you're fighting, you're just also like, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how that works. Revenge. <laughs> Weaponized them. Yeah. Oh, that's so gross. That's if Stephen ever scary. touched an oven me, I would be so upset. <laughs> like you guys were fighting all of a sudden. He's like, ah. <laughs> gotcha. I mean, would that make the fight worse or would it make it you would, just giggle? No, it would make it worse. I would get so angry. And it'd be like the war is on. The war is on. I'm getting out of this apartment. What you need to do. Get you some pets, have you some kids, and then as long as they're not audible is the word I think you used, audible. As long as they're not audible, you can always just kind of look at each other and be like, oh, which one of them was that? Oh, the dog. Oh, the baby. You know, then it works out well. Blaming it on everyone else. That's what you do. That's so sad. It's the American I way. I don't think I can blame it on the cat. That must have been the sure. cat. Yeah, I mean, cats do that too, don't they? I have no idea. You've never noticed? I mean, maybe I would just say, I think the cat must have been to the litter box. Ew. Ew. Hey. No, 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 no. Keep it to yourself. I don't need to know everything about you from the inside out. No. Farts can be deadly. They can make you pass out. Your friends around you. No, I'll never look at you the same. All right. So you would like it to be a private thing. Text club. Ah, there's good arguments on either side, I'd say. Yeah. Someone said if we can't fart freely around each other, then it's not going to be a lasting relationship for me. Home is the only place where I want to be able to fart without fear. And someone else said, no, I don't do it in front of anyone. So when I do let it out, it usually lasts like 10 seconds. And someone else said, apparently I do it in my sleep, but I try not to. And another person saying, yes, I do fart in front of him. He farts in front of me. Everyone farts. You know, it's funny because usually they say home is where the heart is. <laughs> but I guess the other one rhymes too. <laughs> it rhymes. Hello, do you do this in front of your partner? You know what? I think it's kind of rude and disrespectful. Personally, if a guy is going to do that, it's, he doesn't care what what I think about him. And obviously, he's not trying to impress me anymore. I think it's I think it's disgusting. I don't know. It's just maybe it's just me, but I just am very weird about that. All right, in private, and if you're right in front of each other. What are you thinking? I think it can help because you got to know the person you're with isn't perfect. Mm -hmm. So poot and fart on, bring it on. <laughs> Why are you so excited about it? Bring it on. <laughs> Give me all you got. Ew. Come on. Ew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, the one lady made it sound like people are just doing this on the first date. Yeah. I don't think that's what's happening. I think it's for long-term couples. I don't think you should do this on a first date, a second date. Maybe wait a you got to wait like a month or so into a relationship. Well, let's be honest. That first that first one's probably a slip and accident, right? You're not just like, this see how this goes. <laughs> like, you're not helping it out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is what Monday is already. I don't know the, let, let alone the rest of the show. Who knows about the week? I don't know what to expect this week now. It's going to be exciting. I guess so. Hi. My, my, my boyfriend and I just had this conversation, actually. I don't know. It's a weird It's a weird thing because I think sometimes it means that you're really close, but maybe it means you're a little too close mm. to keep a little bit of privacy. I will say this. The shocking amount of people that have said, like, we were just having this conversation. Like, it goes to show it. it, it is a thing. I, we, I literally had the conversation last night. It was smelly. I said you could have walked away into another room. If you know it's going to be smelly, if you know I just ate Taco Bell, 
Get out. That's Go to true. the bathroom. He said, well, well, where should I have gone? I don't know. Anywhere in the apartment except where you currently are. It's not always like a you know a pinata surprise, right? You you often have an idea of it's going to be god awful, and if you guys face the fact you had crab legs and Taco Bell, <laughs> that was our Sunday. Rose, uh, any other texts on this very important issue? ABK. Yes, yeah, someone said my boyfriend and I have been together seven years, and we pretty much have fart wars. We pretend mm. to throw our farts at each other, almost making it a point to try to make really awkward eye contact during it. It's a whole thing. And someone else said, "No, I've been married seven years." It's gross. I'm also kind of prude when it comes to bodily functions, if I'm being perfectly honest. Well, you know what? Watch out, Dateline NBC. You're not the only ones that can cover the hard issues. Playhouse coming for you. Headlines, 194 casts, and couple at 607, Matchbox 20. Don't get me wrong in the Playhouse, 194.